Hi, I'm Michael Goddard. So in this video what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to take a Lego Spike Prime kit, a Windows computer, and a PlayStation 4 controller. Come on over here for a second and I'll show you. Uh, the quick summary is we're going to make sure you have the Lego Mindstorm software installed on your computer. We're going to turn on Bluetooth, Bluetooth the Mindstorm software to the Spike Prime hub. We're also going to connect uh, via the Bluetooth on the computer to the PlayStation controller and then just write one or two lines of code to be able to connect it all together. Let's get started. The first thing that you're going to need is the Robot Inventor software. Uh, kind of has this little icon like that. You can find that just with a simple Google search. Download Lego Robot Inventor app. So on the website, you scroll down until you get to the Windows, Microsoft Windows Store. Uh, that'll bring up a window and you can, uh, it'll have a little get in store app. Prompt you to open the Microsoft Store and then you, you've got to have uh, administrative privileges on the machine. Uh, in order to do that, uh, since I've already installed it, it's just showing up the, the launch button. But if you don't have it installed, then it'll give you the install button. Once it's installed, you can access it all kinds of ways. I'm just going to pull it up here. <clears throat> I'm going to go over to projects and just, uh, I'm going to click on the plus button up here on the right to create a new project. We'll use word blocks. All right. Then go over here, turn on the Spike Prime Hub. And by the way, this works with uh, Spike Prime Hub or the, the actual Robot Inventor Hub. Again, uh, just note I'm using the Lego. Uh, Mindstorm's robot inventor software, not the Spike Prime software. Uh, the Spike Prime and the robot inventor both work with this software. Uh, so what I'll now do is connect via Bluetooth my uh, hub. So go up here to the top right corner, open hub connection. I'm going to connect via Bluetooth. Uh, this laptop has Bluetooth. It's already actually turned on. And then I'll go down here to the hub. Click the Bluetooth button. That uh, should then show up uh, the hub here in the menu system. I've named, uh, pre previously when I first did this, it prompted me for a name. I called mine uh, KHS Prime 1. So now up here in the right hand corner, you can see. Uh, the green light is indicating that it's on and connected and there's uh, different motors there and then you can see uh, as I move these motors then the, the numbers change up there. If I wanted to I could uh, run programs here that wouldn't, wouldn't be a problem real quick. What I need now do is uh, go down here and uh, enable the uh, Sony PlayStation controller code. So in the, just be really clear where I just clicked. So over here in the, the menu system where you can see all the different uh, code blocks and the different code categories, if you go all the way down here to the bottom left, uh, there's a extra icon that says show block extensions. I'll click that. These are all the uh, extensions that you can add in more bricks uh, that will pop up there. I uh, clicked. Uh, DualShock controller, and that one's on. The Xbox One controller is also showing up. I'm going to click that one off. I don't really need that one, but I happen to have the, the DualShock 4 controller. Your students probably have one as well. Now, where that uh, code is now it's going to show up, it's going to be all the way down here. In fact, if I scroll on this menu system here, you can see there's now um, an additional item which says DualShock and it's got uh, all of these code blocks available. 
I'm going to just do a really simple situation. I'm going to say uh, when the left stick is up, uh, we want to move the motors, and then when the left stick is down, then we'll stop the motors. Uh, so I'll do click back up here on movement, and I'm going to do a couple things. I'm going to say set the movement motors to D and C. Then when the left stick is up, we're going to start moving. And I'll just do something real quick. I'll right click, duplicate that when the left stick is <clears throat> released. And I'm going to stop moving. Go. All right, so now at this time, uh, I'm going to go about uh, pairing the PlayStation 4 controller to the computer. So uh, before I go about that process, I'm going to turn on the Bluetooth controls. Uh, quick way of doing that here is typing in the search bar here, uh, Bluetooth, and that'll bring up Bluetooth device and other settings. So uh, right now the Bluetooth is actually already turned on. If it wasn't, I could click on. And on the PlayStation uh, 4 DualShock controller, you're going to hit the share button and the PlayStation button both at the same time we're gonna look for a quick uh, double blink on there if I hit them both correctly and let's go in blink 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 yep there it is um, so now this is waiting to be in pair mode um, and so now on the Windows uh, Bluetooth devices I'll say add Bluetooth or other device and I'm gonna click on this first option which says Bluetooth and it should so show a list of things that are out there, which right now, wireless controller. I'll click that. It's connecting. Uh, it's bringing up a little message over here. It says, select a device. We're setting up the controller. Your device ready to go. So I'll just go and hit done here. This, yep, it's done. It's connected. The PlayStation controller is giving me a solid indicator light. And when I minimize that, I just go back over to the Lego Mindstorm software and you can see I have um, a green indicator there on the control uh, the controller I don't need to do anything else on the, the Lego Mindstorm software it actually recognizes that the computer is linked to a controller so that's really nice so as you can see I already have that code here when the left stick is up uh, start moving when the left stick is released stop moving I'm now just going to go down here and click uh, instead of download mode I'm going to click streaming mode so that the the program is streaming what's going to happen is is it will be streaming the code to uh, the prime hub so that when my controller gets the signals it will send via Bluetooth to the computer then the computer will take that process it based on this code and then send it via Bluetooth over here to the device so I'll click on streaming uh, you can see it then it has sort of like a little stream icon and then I'll hit run. Uh, that will little circle will continue to spin around so that I'm, I'm in streaming mode. And if I hit left arrow, or left, left analog stick, mm -hmm. and it moves. And I release and it goes back. I should, didn't even have it back. So there you go. There's everything. Now, if I wanted to map this to you know, the left analog stick to just one motor, I could do that. Or right analog stick to that motor. Or I could do all kinds of other things. And maybe I'll make another video on that. Anyway, hope that was helpful uh, for you. Good luck.